Super CPR Saturday taught community members how to respond to an emergency situation before fire and paramedic arrive on scene. Hands-on CPR training gave this group the knowledge to save a life. Those in the class listened closely and followed the steps. The critical time is those first four to six minutes. If the fire department can't get there, it's very critical that we start CPR uh, right away. With the El Segundo's fire department one day CPR class, people learn the correct steps in aiding a person in need of help. According to the American Red Cross, CPR is usually done on a person you know. I've had like my dad like collapse like in his room before and like it freaked me out. I didn't know what to do. So I mean like I think it was the best thing to know. Like I think everyone should know how to do that. The free class had people practice as if it was a real scenario to help them become comfortable with providing CPR. Hopefully when they go away from here, they will have the knowledge and skill and confidence necessary to be able to help keep this person alive. There were three classes throughout the Saturday with about 400 registered to get CPR certified. Testing was another section to the training. After passing the test and completing the hands-on portion, the class received their one-year certification. I got an email through someone in my district who told me about the El Segundo Super CPR Saturday, so a free CPR class I was really excited about. And since my certification was coming up, it was perfect timing. The class not only certified trainees, but gave them a boost of confidence to respond to an emergency. I'm sorry that I didn't take it before. I don't know why, you know, I think you think that it's, ah, oh, it's, it's hard, but it's really interesting and it's nice to have the knowledge. The reason behind this is that people go, well, I didn't know that could happen. I didn't know that this is what happens, you know, when the brain starts to die, your body dies. So your heart can stop, but it's got to have that oxygen. So this is part of the compressions, getting that blood, uh, oxygen rich blood going to your brain. The Red Cross gave us a demonstration of some key points with compressions. Placement is very important for compressions. You want to make sure that your palm is right above the sternum, and then you want to interlock your other hand just like that. And for an adult during compressions, you want to go down two inches, so that's about this far down on the chest. And you want to make sure that you're correctly over the person and push down as far as you can go, making sure your arms are completely straight. You want to make sure that you rock back and forth with the compressions. You don't want to jerk your body back and forth because you'll get tired a lot quicker. Okay, and is there a certain pace that you should be going? Um, you want to go, well you do 30 compressions and then you go back to um, giving two rescue breaths. And you want to go, ooh, good pace, you know the song Staying Alive? You want to go at that beat. Learning CPR not only helps the professionals before they arrive to the location, but knowing it can help save the life of someone very close to you. Reporting for Al Segundo TV, I'm Leah Sestrick.